And this was a scene in Washington Square Park earlier. Sky Fox overhead as thousands marched against this decision. Richard Giacob is there now with more on the reaction here in the city. Richard. Teresa, thousands upon thousands of protesters taking to the streets of Lower Manhattan tonight, and they are not going down without a fight. Disappointed, outraged over the decision by the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. They are fed up, and they're going to let everyone hear their rage. It's a sign that the apocalypse is upon us. No justice! No peace! No justice! Across every generation, the women who march tonight in Lower Manhattan in unprecedented numbers say their rights have vanished. Abortion is health care. Health care is a human right. It's really sad to see that now it's on a state level versus the federal level. So, for example, I learned today that in the state of Ohio, things are going even further backward. One by one, thousands took to the streets. Kathleen Campbell, one of the millions of women who have had an abortion. At the time, she was 18 and living in Ohio, a historically red state. Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! Kathleen says states like Ohio will now make it impossible for women like her to get an abortion. For my future, for my friends' futures, we are young, this is true, but this is the prime time that women are in need of reproductive rights. Think about the women who are being raped, who are in un un um, appropriate situations and relationships. Like They have the right to say no and not to have to carry through with their pregnancy. Right now, their trauma will continue. The marchers who went from Union Square to Washington Square Park and back blocked traffic, lifted protest signs above their heads, chanted to pack the court, and even brought their babies with them. This decision, they say, is not only threatening a right they've had for nearly half a century, but is also a threat to democracy. You heard what Clarence Thomas said, right? You know, gay marriage, we, got, we, we should now, the Supreme Court should hear gay, gay marriage, contraception should not be a, a, a right. I mean, it's like, what are we talking about here? A once constitutional right, now overturned, and many here fear it can only get worse. And Teresa, for the rest of the weekend, there are a number of rallies across the country in major cities like this one. And for the protesters we spoke with tonight, every one of them told me that they'll be here tomorrow and the next day and the day after that until their voices are heard. We're live tonight in Washington Square Park. Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News. All right, Richard, thank you.